receives from an opioid manufacturer, the more likely they are to prescribe opioids. As you can see here, the doctors who get paid the most money, they prescribe the most opioids. We don't know which way that relationship goes. Is it that the payments motivated the physician to prescribe more, or did the high prescriber attract the money? If there is the possibility that paying doctors leads to increases in inappropriate prescribing of these drugs, that's something that we have to take seriously. We showed opioid researcher Dr. Andrew Kolodny our findings. It shows that the drug companies are really getting what they pay for. In effect, they're, they're almost bribing doctors to prescribe their drugs aggressively. But pain specialist Dr. Steven Stanos says pharmaceutical companies are paying doctors to educate other doctors. I would hope that they you know, choose physicians that have an understanding of the drug, are respected physicians, and can speak objectively about that. The pharmaceutical industry told us it works to make sure patients' needs are met, while also preventing overprescribing. Cantone is suing Insys, the company that makes Subsys, and her doctor for fraud. Both deny the allegations. In court documents, Insys said its product marketing conformed with industry standards, and Cantone's doctor said the medical care he gave her was reasonable and appropriate and in keeping with the standard of care. But Cantone says her doctor did overprescribe opioids for money. I was used as a pawn in a chess game which later ended up making him and the pharmaceutical company a ton of money. Now, if you're interested in learning whether your doctor has accepted payments from pharmaceutical companies, the federal government has a very easy-to-use website. It's called Open Payments. There's a link to it in our story. Michaela? All right. Thank you so much for that, Elizabeth. This is a real eye-opener for so many people. A couple of married photographers.